So that was a lot of learning on binomial theorem, multinomial theorem and all the properties of binomial theorem. Let us now solve some problems on binomial theorem. The first one, expand a plus b whole to the 6. This is quite a direct problem, you just have to apply the formula here. So let me do it now. a plus b whole to the 6 after applying the formula will give me 6 choose 0 a to the 6 b to the 0 plus 6 choose 1 a to the 5 into b plus 6 choose 2 a to the 4 b square plus 6 choose 3 a cube b cube plus 6 choose 4 a square b to the 4 plus 6 choose 5 a into b to the 5 plus 6 choose 6 a to the 0 b to the 6 and after simplifying all the combinations that is 6 choose 1 6 choose 2 etc and simplifying we get a to the 6 6 choose 0 is 1 and therefore we get a to the 6 here plus 6 choose 1 is 6 so it becomes 6 into a to the 5 b plus 6 choose 2 gives me 15 into a to the 4 b square plus 6 choose 3 is 20 a cube b cube plus 6 choose 4 is 15 and hence I'll write it as 15 a square b 4 plus 6 choose 5 is same as 6 choose 1 therefore it is 6 a into b to the 5 plus 6 choose 6 is 1 so as you can see here the coefficients go on increasing and at a point they become the maximum and again decrease. So this was with a plus b whole to the 6. Now let us go on to the next question. Expand 1.04 whole to the 4. You might be thinking why am I even asking this question because it's very simple to calculate this on a calculator. But let us see the beauty of binomial theorem and use it to expand 1.04 whole to the 4. So 1.04 whole to the 4, I can write it as 1 plus 0 0.04 whole to the 4. Now it becomes very simple, you can directly apply the formula here. Uh, please do remember this is in the form 1 plus x whole to the n. So as I had told, this becomes 4 choose 1, 1 to the 4 plus 4 choose 0, 1 to the 4 plus 4 choose 1, 0 0.04 plus 4 choose 2 into 0 0.04 whole square plus 4 choose 3 into 0 0.04 whole cube plus 4 choose 4 into 0 0.04 whole to the 4. It's all 1 here and therefore I'm skipping it. I'm not telling it because in every term we have the powers of 1. This gives me 1 plus 4 into 0 0.04 plus 4 choose 2 gives me 6. So 6 into 0 0.0016 plus 4 choose 3 is same as 4 choose 1 which is 4 into 0 0.04 cube is 0 0.000064 plus 4 choose 4 is 1 into 0 0.04 whole to the 4 gives me this number. Now after multiplication and simplification, I'll get this as 1.16985856. So let me round off this to two decimal places and therefore I'll get 1.04 whole to the 4 as 1.17. So you must be thinking it can be easily done on the calculator, but did you see the beautiful application of binomial theorem here? It can be used for such approximations. So the next question. Find the fourth term in the expansion of x cubed by 2 minus 2 by x square whole to the 9. So the term seems to be complicated but the problem is very simple. So we need to find the fourth term in this expansion. So we have asked, we have been asked to find a specific term and not all the terms. So as you remember, the rth term was given by n choose r minus 1, a power n minus r plus 1, b power r minus 1. So what is r here? r is 4 
and let me write the fourth term as t4 i'll just denote it like that so t4 is equal to so n here is 9 as you can see so 9 choose r minus 1 which gives me 9 choose 3 into a power what is n minus r plus 1 n is 9 uh, and r is 4 so we get a power 6 b to the r minus 1 is b cube now so what is a and b here a is x cube by 2 and b is 2 by x square yes so let me substitute them and what do i get as the answer 9 choose 3 gives me 9 factorial by 3 factorial into 6 factorial and into x cube by 2 whole to the 6 into please note b is minus 2 by x square into minus 2 by x square whole cube so after simplifying 9 choose 3 i'll get it as 84 84 into x to the 18 by 64 into minus 8 by x to the 6 i've just multiplied the powers here so this gives me after simplification minus 21 by 2 x cube you can do the calculation yourself so the answer is the fourth term in the expansion of this gives me minus 21 by 2 x cube i hope it was clear if it is not please pause the video here and there and watch it again now the next question determine if the expansion of x square minus 2 by 8 2 by x whole to the 18 will contain a term containing x to the 10 the question is not difficult let me just explain so the expansion of x square minus 2 by x whole to the 18 we have to find out if in the expansion of this there is a term containing x to the 10 so it is very similar to the previous problem so what is tr tr as we know this is the formula now let me apply the formula for this so how can i get how will i find out if there is a term containing x to the 10 so what i mean here is tr must have x to the 10 somewhere right so how will i get x to the 10 okay let me apply the formula first n is what n is 18 r we don't know so let us keep it as it is 18 choose r minus 1 into a will be x square so it is x square to the power 18 minus r plus 1 into b is minus 2 by x so it is minus 2 by x whole to the power r minus 1 now simplifying this 18 choose r minus 1 into x to the 38 minus 2 r into minus 2 to the power r minus 1 by x power r minus 1 as you can see this is in the form x power m by x power n and i can write it as x power m minus n i'll simplify this it becomes 18 choose r minus 1 x to the power 39 minus 3 r into minus 2 power r minus 1 now so this is the expansion i have i don't know what is r so if there is a term containing x to the 10 then x to the 10 here will have some coefficient like this and that x to the 10 can be equated to x to the power 39 minus 3 r i'm equating the like terms on the right hand side and the left hand side and therefore x to the m is equal to x to the n and this implies x to the m minus n is equal to 1 if x is not 0. So this is the result we know earlier and therefore I can write this as 38 sorry 39 minus 3 r is equal to 10 simplifying this gives me r is equal to minus 29 by 3 which is not possible because we know that r must be an integer and hence the expansion of x square minus 2 by x whole to the 18 does not contain a term containing x to the 10 i hope it was clear so let us move on to the next question evaluate 96 the whole cube 
again here it becomes very easy to calculate this on a calculator but let me explain how this can be done using binomial theorem so as i had used binomial theorem for approximation i can use it here too in this way 96 can be written as 100 minus 4 this is very simple so 96 cube will be 100 minus 4 the whole cube this is the hint for this question and now it becomes very simple just applying the binomial theorem 3 choose 0 into 100 cube into 4 to the 0 plus 3 choose 100 square into minus 4 to the 1 plus 3 choose 2 into 100 power 1 into minus 4 square plus 3 choose 3 into 100 power 0 into minus 4 cube so now let me simplify all of this this is very simple and I'll get it as uh, it's a long number 884736 I'll leave the intermediate steps to you to solve it and I'm just giving the last answer for you to verify now find the middle term in the expansion of 3x minus 4 whole power 6 so a lot of things to keep in mind here first of all we need to find the middle term and the next one is n is even here as we had seen earlier if n is even there is exactly one middle term and therefore we need to find it but what is the middle term which term is the middle term that is given by n plus 2 by 2 n is 6 and therefore it is 8 by 2 which is 4 therefore the fourth term in this expansion is the middle term so now we need to find even the fourth term here so uh, directly applying the formula let me denote the fourth term as t4 so t4 is equal to n choose r minus 1 into a to the n minus r plus 1 into b to the r minus 1 so when i substitute i get t4 is equal to 6 choose 3 into 3x the whole cube into minus 4 the whole cube I hope it is clear because r is equal to 4 here and applying it appropriately gives me this expression now simplifying 6 choose 3 gives me 6 factorial by 3 factorial to 3 factorial into this is 27 x cube into minus 64 so after calculation this gives me minus 3 4 5 6 0 x cube so this is the middle term in the expansion of 3x minus 4 the whole power 6 so that is it next question what is the coefficient of x square yz in the expansion of x plus y plus z whole to the 4 so here comes the multinomial theorem so how do we apply it as i had told you we need to find the coefficient of x square yz here so we have three terms so let me write it in general the coefficient of x to the n1 into y to the power n2 into z to the power n3 is given by n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial so this is the generalized coefficient now applying it here what do i get coefficient of x square yz is given by n is 4 so 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 1 factorial into 1 factorial which gives me on simplification 12 as the answer the last question what is the coefficient of x1 square x cube x4 whole cube into x5 in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 whole to the 7 so this is a huge term and uh, we have to apply multinomial theorem here so on the similar lines as the previous problem the coefficient of x1 square we don't have x2 here into x3 into x4 cube into x5 gives me n is 7 here so we have 7 factorial by 2 factorial into 1 factorial into so there was 
no x2 term and hence it was x2 power 0 so i am not writing a 0 factorial here i am directly going to x3 so x3 is power is 1 and therefore it is 1 factorial into 3 factorial into 1 factorial i hope this was clear and on simplification this gives me 7 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 factorial which is 420 okay so these were some of the problems on binomial coefficients and multinomial coefficients. So far we have seen what is binomial theorem, multinomial theorem, the coefficients, how to find a particular term here, a specific rth term or a kth term, how to find the middle term and we have solved several problems. So now we will be moving on to the next concept in the next video. If you have any doubts, please post it on the discussion forum.